thank you so much for coming to Show X. Uh, um, I want to introduce our cast this evening. Uh, my name is Tim. Uh, Lauren, Rita, Butch, Jill, and Michael are here to improvise. Thank you. Uh, so it is a very special night because it is the first Monday of the month, which means it is our Celebrity Armando night. Uh, and basically what that means is we uh, are going to have a celebrity here this evening who is going to tell stories that it will inspire the improv that you see. Has anyone never been to Huge Theater before? A round of applause real quick. Raise your hand. Or raise your hand. That's great. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, welcome. Uh, uh, if you've never seen improv before, uh, it's just we're just going to make everything up. So that's improv pretty much uh, in a nutshell. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased uh, that we uh, have our guest here this evening. Um, uh, his, he has an incredibly long list of things. Uh, he is a nine-year veteran of the NFL. He is a human rights activist. He is an executive chef. He is a recording artist. He is an author. Um, he's he's amazing. Um, and his name is Ezra Tuolo. Put your hands yeah. together. him. Uh, I am so happy to be here because this is the, probably the first time I, um, I'm able to uh, to be on stage. I, I, long story short, when I was uh, back in 2003, I took some classes at the Grounding. Everybody knows where Grounding is? Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, I wasn't good at it at all. But it was so amazing just to take that class and just to see the art of improv and what they do. And I, and I learned a few things from it. And I just wanted to, um, to thank Tim and the whole cast. Uh, and huge here to, uh, for, for bringing me here. So I am going to be pulling from the audience. It's been a long time to tell you the truth that I've been on stage. Because <laughs> all these lights are just like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like trying to look at for people. I'm looking for my boyfriend in the crowd, but I can't see him. So can you raise your hand? <laughs> oh, there he is, okay. Um, all right, you'll be my focal point. Um, so anyway, um, I'm gonna be telling some stories uh, of my life. Uh, some true stories from my life, um, but also I'll be I'll, I will be pulling from the audience, uh, help from the audience. So you guys just you know blurt out a word, and I'll and I'll try to um, to tell a story. And and I guess uh, from what we talked about, um, uh, they're going to take that story and run with it. So I guess the first story I'm going to share with you was is um, back in 1991. Uh, um, uh, I was in, uh, I, I went to Oregon State University, and one of the things where I, um, uh, at Oregon State University, during that time, I was, it was, uh, uh, we weren't good at all, meaning, <laughs> <laughs> meaning uh, my four years there, we won maybe six games. Yeah. <laughs> so we're basically the doormat to the Pac-10, although I did good. I mean, I had some great stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I'm sitting in, uh, so it's draft day, and I'm sitting in my in, in sitting in my apartment at the time. I didn't think I was going to go at all. People were telling me that I was, and so um, because I, you know, I just came, you know, I, I went to this horrible school, and we were, <laughs> I mean, I mean, we weren't that. When I say horrible, I mean for football. And <laughs> I'm sitting there um, by myself, and then a bunch of my friends come over, and the next thing on on the draft on television. This woman comes on and she says, well, we had the first difficult name of the draft. <laughs> uh, Ezra Tulalalapalopalopa. I mean, she just <laughs> tortured it, right? It was just crazy. And I just stood there in awe because I was thinking to myself, where the hell is Green Bay? <laughs> <laughs> I am not kidding. I grew up in Hawaii, so it was it was surfing for us, and it was volleyball. It was not football. If you wanted to watch football, you had to get up at like four o'clock, four a.m. just to watch a game, right? Um, but for I, I really didn't I, did, I didn't know where Green Bay was, and it was just one of those things where I just looked at my friends, and they were like, "Is Wisconsin like you know Green Bay Packers? Don't you know where they're at?" I'm like. So I had to put on this whole act when the coach of Green Bay, Lindy Infante, <laughs> called me up, and he was 
you know, are you excited? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, literally, and I'm not, I'm not making this up. And it was one of the things where, um, you know, we are so proud of you, that, uh, proud to you um, that you're, you know, you're coming to Green Bay. And, and inside my head, I was thinking, holy crap, like, where is, where the hell is this place? But another thing also is I have to tell you is um, um, I was living with this crippling secret at the time. And the crippling secret was that I was gay. So I was living with this crippling secret. So instead of enjoying, to tell you the truth, enjoying uh, the draft and enjoying the great news that I just got, um, after talking to Lydia Infante, I went into this huge um, blackout. And I went into this huge blackout instead of enjoying it. And the reason for it is that I was thinking to myself that somebody just heard my name broadcast on television, was gonna call up the Green Bay Packers and tell them, you know what, you just drafted a fag. You just drafted a gay dude. Congratulations. And that for me was, I went into this funk, I went into this, I, you know, instead of enjoying it, I remember after, after talking to the coach, I just blacked out. And it took me hours to come back where I think it was my mom that called me on the phone where I could really kind of enjoy the news because I was so happy that I got drafted and I was able to, and I was gonna be able to give back to my family and to my mom. So anyway, with that, I'm gonna leave it at that and take it away, Tim. Okay, Chris, welcome to Dumb University. That's the attitude we like uh, to hear. <laughs> Cecilia, you're supposed to make your yeah. So, sorry, just had a question. Um, what? I'm not sure. Is there? Yeah. Do, we have, do we have chairs here, or is, is this? We like used to. <laughs> I ate <laughs> mine. Yeah. I was told that the 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 uh, the sit on a wall. Yeah. 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 Sit on a wall. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you yeah. said. I, I just I was told that the sports here were dumb, but I, I didn't know that the actual university uh, was named that. I, I, I should have. Uh, okay. Are you the professor? Yeah, I'm a phone professor. Yeah. I'm a department head. I'm a department head. I'm a department head. Okay, so I, I Wait, Cecilia's gonna make her presentation today. Yeah, and everything will be clear. Somebody told you the sports here were dumb. Yeah. Oh my God. We're the smartest people here. It's, it appears that way. I, <laughs> Come in, I'm so sorry. I walked into a geometry class and I got a, I, 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 oh saw, I saw an entire, uh, an entire uh, Come in, you presentation. Need I'm, just, I'm just freaking out right Sam, now. You, need, you want an espresso or something? Yeah, do you have espresso? Yeah, of course. Is this the football locker room? Yeah. <laughs> you have a hey coach, <laughs> coach, I uh, just did, uh, like you asked, 50 wind sprints and uh, just defended my dissertation. You have dissertations in undergrad? That's amazing. Well, an, oh God, no, I'm a PhD candidate in physics. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Everyone, oh. everyone on the football team oh, is. Oh, I had no yeah, idea. Well, not Does somebody pull physics. all the Hemingway from my locker? I had all of Hemingway in my I'm sorry, locker. Sorry, I, I, I needed it. Can you just sign out the sheet next time I have a sign-up sheet on okay. the outside? Right. Just check just, it out, thank you. You have a Hemingway locker? <laughs> this is amazing. Quarterbacks, right? <laughs> what, are you getting, what are you getting your doctorate in? Well, I, I'm, j I, I'm uh, actually, it's, uh, Going for my BA, Bachelor of Arts. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. Sure. <laughs> oh, so are you excited? <laughs> are you excited to be here? What? Just, uh, I thought yes. <gasps> Everybody is so loud. <laughs> I'm glad you found the place. Yes, <gasps> I had to look on several maps. <gasps> yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, I got the bags in from the car. <sighs> Hello. Okay. Hey. 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 hey, 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 this is Trevor. Oh. Hey. hey, guys. Are you guys oh. excited? Oh. I mean, a standard amount of excited. <laughs> That's <laughs> very nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit! That is the spirit! Did they get here? Yes! Yeah. 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 And let me come downstairs! I can't believe it. I can't believe you guys have never been to Green Bay before! Oh, <laughs> Everyone's real 
out. We're preparing for the season when yeah. we have to yell at people on the field. Hey! Everybody, hey! everybody goes to the games. So. Are there other things that happen here? What? Uh, <laughs> that kitty kitty. Meow! Yeah! So nervous. Okay. Don't be so nervous, okay? okay? Look, look, look. I know it's difficult reading names into a camera, but yeah. we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay. So you came over here from CNN? I did. Okay, I did. good. Yeah. Well, then you can help with the hard names. Oh, okay. okay. I'm ready. All right. We're on in three. <laughs> and welcome back to NFL Today. I'm Jim Jim. And I'm the. <laughs> What do you mean cut? Aren't we live? <laughs> are we live? Um, Wait, we're not live? We are live. We are live. <laughs> you said your own name wrong. I know, but I can't say names that have more than one syllable. <laughs> but it says Jim Jamerson on the bottom of the screen. Too many. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks for yelling reading. cut. Everyone, that's our floor producer. She's pregnant. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I'm Jim Jim and... And I'm Tiny Blamison. <laughs> Tandy uh, Blitzman. Tandy Blitzman. <laughs> Just get to the rest of the yeah, Yes, yes. We are pleased as can be that you're joining us this evening because, boy, do we have a roster for you. It was an exciting day, wasn't it? <laughs> it, sure, it certainly was, Blam. <sighs> well, in hot NFL action, yes. Brett Favre is still retired. <laughs> He's the only quarterback whose first and last name only contain one syllable. You're gonna have to take... Mom, I think I got drafted? But honey, the I... Rivens isn't a team. <laughs> There's no team called the Rivens. But they, they said something that could have very possibly been our name. Oh, now... 
This could or could not be a really big day for. Okay, tell me, tell me again what name they said. <laughs> and you're going to the river. Oh my gosh! Did you? Did you I think you might have gotten. Maybe. Drafted. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> could be. Because I, I was like, I was like, okay, well that was the first initial. Right. At least. It started with like, like, a, like a C or a K. Yeah. And how many football players have a C or a K right. in their name? Very, right. very <laughs> few. Okay. They gotta oh, type it up wow. at some point, right? Oh. Uh, so I was really hoping you'd go to the chuffs. <laughs> Come on, you can't keep me but close to home. But the ribbons, the ribbons no, are No, the ribbons are probably a great team. I'm sure. Maybe. They're a team. Sure, that I'm going to if I am, which I could be. I, I think I'm happy. <laughs> you could go to the Van Burkners. <laughs> I mean, that is racist. What? No. <laughs> Donnie. I didn't. Donnie. I meant the team, the team in Florida. <laughs> the team in Washington. <laughs> you know. Well, honey, I, you know what? We we'll just have a party for you anyway, and then if it turns out you weren't drafted, we'll just kind of play it off as, you know, fun a fun party. Just like a weekend. A weekend party. A weekend together. Sure. We'll, we'll we'll get draft yeah. beer, huh. and then if it turns out you weren't drafted, we'll say no no no. Oh. We were talking about the beer. Um. I love you, honey. <laughs> And the ten murderers. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom. I think she's pregnant too. Played the Kansas City Chiefs. And in hot action there, one team won. Back to you, Heron. You're getting a lot of complaints about your use of the phrase hot action. <laughs> That's our producer sticking her head in the frame again. Thanks, Jim Jamson. Uh, listen, every, anybody can play football, but it takes a, a, real, a real footballer to play real football. You're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, why don't we go to CNN for a sports analyst? Yeah. Idiots. If I, if I learn one thing this year, you gotta have heart. And nobody has more heart than than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, son. Could you tell me your name again? I know who I drafted, but it was real confusing at the time. Uh, I have a list. Is, I have a list of my draft picks. Is can you hear on there? Oh shoot! I brought the wrong glasses. It's, it starts with. It's, do you, it's spelled, do you recognize it's your name? It's Wait. Like, first of all. First of all, what position do you play? And we can narrow it down. Defensive end. It's, it's spelled with a K and then there's an O with an umlaut. This is just a picture of a o. monkey oh. on a camel's back. All right, I'll pack my stuff. Wait, could you, could you get on that camel for a second? And maybe this is, maybe you're who I meant. You are kind of, <laughs> you are kind of small. <laughs> Just maybe that maybe you're who I met. Get on the camel. Get on the camel. Maybe I'm an important football owner. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, important football owner. Look, I've been trying to sew the names on the back of your uniform, so I'm running out of M's and F's. <laughs> Is everyone actually named? <laughs> you know what? Throw in some numbers. <laughs> okay. My turn's with a K. You are the monkey riding the camel I was thinking of for my end. Welcome aboard the ribbon, son. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. I think I'm proud to be here. And Great. This team Great. is a really proud tradition, I'm sure. We start practice at Super Club. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask um, um, One of the things that I do uh, uh, is that I sing. So, um, so if you just give me a word and I'll try to, um, I'll make up a song. Oh. And then hopefully they can. Uh, are you guys just gonna? You're gonna. It's gonna be a musical. So you guys will yeah. sing everything that you. you yeah. do. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. Chris Cluey didn't make us do this. <laughs> So, um, and I know you, I mean, you see this, you know, this 
six four, three hundred pound Samoan, well, three sixteen <laughs> up here, and you're a football player, and you're probably thinking that I can't sing, but uh, um, <laughs> well, let's see if, if 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 that's right. So let's uh, <laughs> can somebody sugar? Huh? Sugar? <laughs> sugar? Oh, I like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I like sugar, baby. I like sugar, baby, because it's so sweet. Anybody else? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Give me a church song. Oh, I love church songs. Anybody? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hallelujah, is that one? Hallelujah? Shall we gather at the river? Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Yeah. I heard there was this secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really love Can't music, do ya? <laughs> it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor falls, and the major lifts. And the baffled king composed in hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, another one? <laughs> Why don't I just sing one of my favorites? <laughs> one of my favorites. Wow. Um, you sounded just like Leonard Cohen. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna share one of my favorite songs, and I think you guys heard it. And if you if you know it, please join along. Uh, it's so hard singing acapulco, you know. <laughs> and I don't like you know, playing the guitar or a ukulele, but let's do this one. Um, oh, here's a good one. Somewhere over that rainbow way up high. This is when I found out that I was gay after seeing this movie. <laughs> a place that I dreamt of, no seriously, once in a lullaby. Some way over that rainbow, skies are blue. And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. All right, take it away. Oh! trying to find out. Well, me, I'm just, I'm just trying to find some pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you find the right pants? Well, I can't find pants that fit me. I got a bubble butt. <laughs> and it's just not working out for me. I know exactly how you feel. Do you? That's why I wear these gingham dresses. Oh, sure. Have you ever thought about wearing a dress? <laughs> Not until just now, <laughs> but I'm feeling like I should wear dresses. I am feeling not like a Mr. But a Mrs. I am feeling like. I should wear lipstick. <laughs> I am feeling like a... <laughs> what is that? Did somebody say dress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of her walking monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> She's so tacky. What? You want a dress? I make dresses. Oh, oh look at it. Look. Oh, it's so horrible. Oh. It's asymmetrical. Why? In for a season, and then you own it, and you can't wear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to that girl from Kansas. 
business in that sad transvestite there. <laughs> I'm not a transvestite. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Are you transgendered, sad bear? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That was very insensitive There's of me. There's a difference. Oh. Hey, listen. Will you be my friend and we can help defeat that tacky woman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already your friend. Really? Tell me more about it. <laughs> this would be way better if I actually had my ukulele, but go with me on this. spokesperson for China Chicken of the Sea. Brad, I'm so sorry I didn't believe in you with this ukulele song for the China Chicken of the Sea. And then with Andy one the proviso. We want oh. Coconut Friend with you. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I was going to do this. This is my dream. Listen to me. Listen right away. Listen before you shut your ears down. Listen to me. This is my dream. You must play the coconut for me. I want to be... Listen to me, I might be your friend, but Brad, this is the end. Listen to me, listen to me, I will not be your coconut man. Listen to me, don't you shut your ears down. I want to be the singer of Chicken of the Sea for China, 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 I need you. China, 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 need you. I will not sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up, no, no. China, 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 need you. Brad needs you. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Listen to me. Come on, baby. Listen to me. Come Something on, baby. About your pleading is spoken to my heart. Come on, baby. Cop those coconuts. Click, boop, click, boop. Where'd they go? <laughs> Sorry, the sermon's usually more uplifting. <laughs> Normally we have a pipe organ instead of somebody just 
<laughs> pretending to <laughs> pretending to play. It's okay. What's wrong? I can uplift. Well, I was hoping this this sermon would uplift me, but I I can uplift myself. You and me both. <laughs> I really needed it today, and it wasn't there. Yeah. Listen, I'm really sorry. Yeah. What a. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really bad if it if it's any consolation. Wow. It's just it just got. Got legs and just went out. <laughs> <laughs> All we got the collection plate was two pennies and an expired basket of Robin's coupon. Can I have my expired coupon back? <laughs> Maybe I can use my sad eyes. You don't to have make to put it. your pennies in the plate for us, coupon. What? Oh no, they appeared uh, as if it were a miracle. Come on, Jerry. Uh, okay. There's no miracles here. This church is so sad. <laughs> if it's the house of the Lord, then the Lord is feeling so bad. <laughs> What's wrong with this church? <laughs> Why is it so lonesome? What happened to all of the congregation? Didn't you know them? Where did they go? They all stayed home. Why didn't they come? There's a game on right now. <laughs> inside. The playoffs are just beyond our just reach, but beyond. who knows we may make it this year. <laughs> Even though we won't make it all the way. Cause the Vikings haven't done that in a very long time. But still we hope. But still we pray. Cause faith is all about believing in things that aren't there or possible. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pastor. I'm sorry. I, I, I believe in God, despite all the evidence to the contrary. The same way that I believe in the Minnesota Vikings. And I'd like to be at the stadium watching the Vikings, just like anybody else. But I'm here, winging it. I'm more of a soccer fan. So <laughs> <laughs> Really? Oh, now you're turning it back on the organ player? No, 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 just soccer? Yeah. It's Englishmen running in a rectangle nonstop for 90 minutes. Not specifically in a rectangle, like within the rectangle, but not in an actual, like they're not running the, just the outside. That's what American football looks like to me. What you just said, English football looks like. But when the clock runs out on American football, they stop playing. It gets to zero in world football. <laughs> Sorry, I have to call it that. It gets to zero in world football. Sometimes they just keep going. <laughs> they keep going. They call it injury time. You know why? There were injuries. <laughs> I think that just seems really natural to like, it's like <laughs> you call it injury time because there were injuries during the game. And I it. wanna believe. <laughs> Sunday will come, and it'll be super, and we'll have such fun. This altar boy now has faith once again. This altar boy now has faith once again. The faith is restored because now I know more about American football and why it's so good. Because it's better than soccer. <laughs> Stupid socialist soccer. <laughs> Smelly Italian and Brits running in a rectangle. They never stop. They just kick and they kick. They score one goal and everyone's excited. And sometimes it's a tie. <laughs> I'm going to wear the collection plate home on my head. Like a World War I soldier. It's better than soccer. It's better than soccer. God bless America. <laughs> 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 nice job. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> um, no, 
nice job. Nice singing. Uh, <laughs> it was a tough act to follow. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right. Let's get back to the storytelling, huh? Right. So um, I played in the NFL for nine years, and it's, uh, it was one of those things where it was exciting and it was amazing, um, but then also there was also that dark side of it. Um, but I have to tell you this. Uh, I played with some amazing players um, while I was my nine years in the NFL, and one of them I think you all know, uh, and I'm going to tell you a story about, uh, is Brett Favre. So when I was a, uh, I was a rookie in, uh, in Green Bay, um, my second year uh, we got Brett Favre and he came to Minnesota, I mean to Green Bay. And um, we wish. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we kind of just clicked because, uh, you know, I was from the country in Hawaii. I grew up on a farm, you know, I'm the youngest of uh, eight brothers and sisters. And, um, and he also is the country boy from down south. And for some reason we just clicked and we became real good friends. And he invited me down to, um, to Bay St. Louis, where he's from. And <laughs> wow, uh, what an experience to go there. And uh, for me, it was, it was, I've never been down south before. It was like my first time going down there and, and to hang out. And um, the week before I was going down there, I just saw Mississippi burning. Um, <laughs> the movie, Mississippi Burning. <laughs> so we're down there, and um, Brett has this whole posse. I mean, he has like 10 guys that I think is just his yes boys. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, yes, boy, yeah, yes, boss, yes, boss, whatever he wanted. Yes, boss, yes, boss. Uh, great family, great country family. You know, everybody's so close. His grandmother, um, his, you know, his mom and dad, we, we went down there. And uh, so Brett decides that he wants to go down to his uh, college. He, went, he played ball at um, Ole Miss. Uh, no, Southern Miss, Southern Mississippi. So, uh, and uh, you know, I'm thinking, okay, it's like maybe 10, 10 miles down the road. No, it's like two hours away from where he lives. So we pack up the truck, two of them, with a bunch of, uh, bunch of cases, of be uh, cases of beer, and we head down, like, I think it was like maybe 10 o'clock at night. And we get down there, and we go to this one club on campus. And literally, we walk in, it's like a ginormous barn, and then the song, it, there was country music playing. As soon as we walked in, it was like, don't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we're in there and we're, we're, um, we're having a good time. You know, and I, you know, I, I, for me, anytime I'm somewhere new, I, 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 I no, I'm, I'm, my eyes are everywhere because I just don't, I, you know, I just, you know, I, 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 I don't know the situation, I don't know the environment, and we have all these white people out there. And, uh, <laughs> crazy, and, uh, and uh, so, um, so I'm talking with Brett, and literally this guy comes in front of us and sucker punches him right in front of me. Whoa. Whoa. Lays him out. And here I am, looking at this dude, and I'm just thinking, you are dead. <laughs> I pick him up, and this, you know, when I was with Green Bay, I was six, you know, I was you know, same height, but then I was also 350, so I was oh. ginormous. Like, oh. So I pick this guy up and I body slam him. Brett gets up, he's, you know, he's wailing on the dude. I mean, every all the friends, it was like a <laughs> big bra, barroom bra. It was like something out of a movie, you know? So I, I grab Brett and we rush out the door. And as soon as we get out the door, literally there's about 10 cops there oh. waiting for us. Oh. And uh, so, um, they couldn't handcuff me this way because I was so big. So they, they, had to, they had me put my hand over my head and they had, you know, right there and there. So we were in the car and, you know, we're going to jail. And of course, we're literally intoxicated. And they put us in this cell with literally, I'm not joking, 20 uh, African Americans from down south. And Brett in his big mouth is like, you guys better not. Beep, you know, <laughs> with us because I got my big Polynesian. I grabbed, <laughs> grabbed Brett by the throat and I pulled him towards me. I said, you know what? There's 20 of them and just two of us. So you need to shut the hell up. But, uh, okay, let's fast forward. So Brett goes, talks to the chief of police, and then they come and get me. And all this time I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I'll just watch this movie, Mississippi Burning. And all, you know, you know, all the racism and everything. And I'm down south, and I'm, you know, tan. I'm trying to tell them I'm Polynesian. I'm not African American, but they're not believing me. Um, so I go and speak to the chief of police, and it's, it's so funny because I get in there, and he goes, 
where are you from, boy? And in my mind, I'm like, boy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> boy. Um, I said, oh, I'm from Hawaii. And, you know, of course, I got this big smile on my face. I'm like, I'm from Hawaii. And literally, he just, his whole tone changed. And he's like, Hawaii? Man, me and the missus just came back from Hawaii. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, oh, my gosh. I hope you had a great time. Like, yeah, we had a great time. I'm like, I'm just, you know, my part's pounding. But then it stops. And he goes, don't worry, this was Brett's second home when he was in contact. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz is, kind of, Buzz is uh, Brett's uh, far's agent. Buzz is coming to pick you up. And uh, But let me tell you, it was such an experience just to be something like, you know, I've never really experienced down south that way. And just the, the people and the culture. You know, I'm from Hawaii. I mean, we're the melting pot, right? Everybody, this aloha. I mean, I mean, this, it, you know, there's, we have our faults there, but it's one of those things where it's not really prevalent. I mean, you don't really see it. And to tell you the truth, it was, it was uh, as a 6'4", 350-pound Samoan, I was, I was a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but you're fucking dead. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to tell you this, but I'm so I just I just wanted hot peppers on my sandwich. You said you got a lot of fucking nerve. I mean, it's a it's a, you it's see? a subway. It's Somebody, a subway. Do you I, see? Who's you behind just said me hot here? peppers. I mean, like, I do you know what you're fucking talking about? Are you? I what? Just, are you? I just told you to go light on the mayo oh, and add oh, banana oh, peppers. Oh, light on the mayo. <laughs> light on the mayo. Oh, are you throwing mayo shade? No, 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 no! Please don't be upset. Are you throwing just, mayo just, shade? Did you ask for light mayo? This is, I thought you could make this is Green sandwich. Bay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get light mayo in Green Bay. No, I don't want light. I just want light on the mayo. I mean, oh it doesn't have to God. be light mayo. I don't, I don't fucking want miracle whip. Hold me <laughs> I'm back. I'm an idiot. Hold me back. No, please, please. Why did you even come here? <laughs> because it is the only place to get a sandwich in town. Yeah. Oh, my God. There are 14 subways in town for a reason. <laughs> I am, a, I am a I am a five foot five English major. Okay. Working at Subway to get my degree. Why do you offer the banana peppers and light mayo if you don't? Do <laughs> oh. start anything oh. should be logical here. Oh. <laughs> All right, who called nine one one? Wait, why did someone call nine one one? There's no reason for an ambulance to be. This, this woman assaulted me. Yep. <laughs> she started here, got my associate, and then moved on to the. That customers. is absolutely not true. I was ordering my sandwich. This man was breathing right really here. close in my neck. That's all right, I and I turned and I said, "Please stop that." That's I'm part of my culture. Yeah. I mean, this I mean, close to the sandwich chopping bar. I mean, it's a d disease. There's a there's a sneeze guard for a reason. Yeah. Get close. Not on my neck. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. I pray for you. I pray for you, give me the phone number of your loved ones so I can <laughs> communicate with them to let them know. Otherwise, you're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Honey, honey, I'm almost packed. Oh, uh, you're up. It's gonna be the mess. Okay, but um, since since we don't meet until tomorrow morning, yeah. I got us some movies to learn all about Europe. Oh, so I love that. We're gonna be that. so pumped. You are so sweet. Oh, no, no, I just I want us to know a little bit about the culture before we go. Yeah, good, okay? good call, good right, call, right, hon. Okay. Now good this, call. Now this is an eight-hour-long documentary called Showa. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm sure that that'll give us a good idea of yeah. what things are like in Germany. Yeah. Let's watch it. Ah, here we go. Eight hours later. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, maybe we don't have to go to Germany. Germany. Okay, yeah, good, that's good. All right, uh, good. <laughs> well, that's good, that's good, but, uh, hey, um, um, oh, but we're, 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 we're still planning on going to Ireland, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 Okay, this one's, on. called, this one's called In the Name of the Father. Okay, okay here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Oh God. Okay. Oh God. All right. So we can we can we can we can change the plans, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can I, change the plans, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so Germany and Ireland off the list, off right? Off the list. We'll off the list. Cash. Off the list. Okay. Yeah. This one. Uh, we're we're still going to London, right? Oh yeah. Okay, 100%, 100%. Okay, this one is called Mary Poppins. Okay. okay here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming with to my old jail. 
Man. <laughs> does it look a lot smaller it does. than you it remember? Really does. Oh, oh my gosh, man. this is great. This is. <gasps> oh, are those your little hash marks? Yeah, I carved those. Get hands. over, get over, get over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh <laughs> look at you. That's beautiful. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> Tiffany Willis. I can't believe you're back, <laughs> Steve. I I missed you. I was just gonna say that. I missed you, man. This we uh, we haven't put anybody else in the cell since you. Is went. this your old toilet hooch? <laughs> <laughs> we let it sit. It's probably real good now. That's what I, that's what I came back for. Uh, that's wonderful. Aww. We had two truckloads of beer. And we ran. Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Lights out! Come here, you! Come here! That never gets old. You look good. You look good. Hey. I haven't seen you since graduation. Hey, hey, you know, I'm a warden now. Not what? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Skipped right Shut over up. me. Yeah. Skipped right over <laughs> me. Well, you know, it's not what you know. <laughs> ain't that yeah, true. it's how, it's how many yeah, prisoner yeah. abuse cases that you had to dodge. Okay, okay right. so. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Hey. The place looks great. Well, you know, we tried to keep it the way it was. Well, you know, kind of like when Darren sent her kids off to college. Um, uh, but, uh, there is one room that, uh, well, who wants to see the hole? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who wants to see solitary? You, still have the hole? you told me so much about the hole, Dad! <laughs> it won't be the same if we go in together. Oh, is this your daughter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your dad was the terror of the cell block. I Unbelievable. Bet. You cannot imagine how many people he shipped. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it'd be all right if my, uh, my little girl shanked somebody in the yard while we're here. That is, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you Awesome. Uh, so we are uh, going to take an intermission. Uh, feel free to visit the bar, uh, grab a drink. If you don't drink those kind of drinks, we do have sodas out in the lobby. Uh, we'll be back here in about 10 minutes. Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> And uh, thank you for being here, um, just in case you were unaware. Um, uh, now, uh, Huge Theater is a nonprofit, um, so uh, we survive by word of mouth. Um, and, uh, and so if you enjoy the show tonight, uh, uh, tell your friends, come back to other shows. We have shows six nights a week here, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So uh, come back. And on that Tuesday, when we don't have classes, we have, uh, uh, or we, we don't have shows, we have classes. Uh, where you can uh, learn from uh, some of the, the best improvisers in town how to uh, improvise. So uh, do come uh, back. There are, uh, there are uh, classes starting at the end of March. Uh, so uh, hop on to hugetheater.com and, uh, and join us here. Um, and you can uh, join us for shows as well. Um, show X is every Monday night. Uh, we don't have a celebrity guest every Monday night. Um, but uh, we are here, so uh, come back on, uh, but yeah, so uh, come back on, on another Monday night. You can follow us on uh, Facebook as well, um, and uh, follow us on Twitter, at ShowXImprov, uh, and tweet about how you thought the show went tonight, if you want, um, uh, but follow us as well. Uh, other than that, uh, please, uh, a warm welcome uh, for Esra Chuo. <laughs> Again, it's such an honor to be here, and I, I'm so excited um, to be a part of this. Um, all right, I think uh, the next story I'm going to tell you. I, I'm playing in the NFL, and you know, uh, being able to um, do the things that I've done. Um, when I came back, when I came out in 2002, uh, I kind of did this multimedia circuit, right? And and uh, and I didn't know the Queen was going to call me. <laughs> the queen of television, of talk show hosts, and uh, and let me tell you, who? Joan? No, <laughs> no, Oprah. Oh. Yes. I'm old. I know. <laughs> I'm with you because I, you know. Um, so anyway, Oprah called, right? And they wanted they were doing a show on secret family secrets, and and let me tell you, it was, um, of course, when Oprah calls, like you just 
like giddy. I mean, this is all excited. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, uh, when they called, uh, the, the, the show was on secret. So I was able to take my mother uh, and my, uh, my baby's daddy, right? so, you know, my partner at the time, we have children together, and, uh, and then also my mother-in-law. So when we got there, it was, uh, for me, it was just surreal, because you know, I'm a huge Oprah fan, and I, I watch her shows, and especially when she gives away all the, the prizes. And I <laughs> love that, you know? So um, what was funny, we were in the dressing room, and, uh, and my segment was going to be probably, um, the, the bigger part of the show. And so a handler, or the producer that they call at the time, she was like, well, we asked if Oprah was going to come and talk to us. And she's like, oh, no, she normally doesn't do that with guests. And as soon as she said that, here comes Oprah. <laughs> right? And uh, it's like, oh, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, you know. <laughs> Clearly, it's like meeting the queen. It's yeah. actually amazing. You know, I mean, she's, she's absolutely amazing. The things that she's done in her life um, and how she's got there, all the hard work for me, I think that's absolutely, that's, that's a great thing. So, so we get on the show. Um, so they tell me to sit, you know, on the couch. So I sit on the couch and I'm, like, I'm all nervous, you know. And so she comes in and she sits right next to me. And literally, I'm looking at her and I had this look on my face like, what? what? She had these two. It's like somebody took a marker pen, and drew a line down her nose, like, like this and. I'm like, oh my, you know, I'm, I'm looking at her and I, I just wanted to go like, girl, who is your makeup artist? Like, you know, you know? Uh, but I guess on camera, you don't see it and it makes her nose skinnier, I guess, right? Look smaller. So I wish I had that pen throughout my whole body. I should have like, you know, kind of painted. So, but it was such an amazing experience because it was, um, the show was about secrets. And, you know, I've been on other shows like the Tyra Banks. Oh, um, I gotta tell you this really quick. Tyra Banks. You know, she comes across as very uh, sophisticated, and you know this, you know, you know this, this, you know, great for you know power to the women, and and um, she she forgot that I met her back in I think it was uh, before I got drafted. A friend of mine was dating her, um, Jason Olive, who was just like a model, and so when I was on the show, she go I go you know I think we met before. You dated my friend Jason Olive, who was the model that model for Polo, and she as soon as she heard that. My uh, cousin was Jason Nala's best friend, and they played volleyball at, um, in, in Hawaii, and uh, for the University of Hawaii. As soon as she heard that, the ghetto came out, <laughs> and she was like, "Can I swear here?" Yeah. yeah. She's like, "Was that motherfucker gay?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Excuse me." She's like, "Yeah, Jason, was he fucking gay?" I'm like, "What? Why do you say that?" Like the whole hood came out. She went to this like really professional like oh my gosh thank you for being on the show I was like what the fuck you know and, uh, <laughs> so because every single time she would talk to your cousin your cousin let me see your cousin she would be uh, she he would be like touching this junk I'm like I don't know my cousin's not gay you know he's also and I was like I don't know maybe they had some secret affair or whatever but I tell you it was it was such an experience just to to experience that and 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 to meet her again but she was she's like and then. As soon as she was done, it was like, and professional. She went. <laughs> <laughs> it was just awesome. Like, you got to do the catwalk. So I had to do this catwalk, and I, you know, I totally just bombed it. So anyway, here you go. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. It's the actual Queen of England on the phone. I know you're disappointed. It's the, it's the actual. She really wants to talk guess, to you. I'll guess. Don't even take it. Don't even justify that. Well, if I know it's not Oprah, but I'm sorry. Know, I, I mean, <sighs> hello, Your Majesty. No. <laughs> what do you want? We are very pleased to hear that it is your Don't birthday. Hurry this up. We want to keep the line open. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, congratulations on saving all of those people from uh, the plane blah, 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 We blah, are very blah. pleased, and Boop. we would like to make you a dame. Oh, the other line's ringing. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is that I'll call be... waiting? Don't put me on call waiting. No. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. It's still me. Oh, hello. 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 It's still me. Hello. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send you my bra. Have 
Happy birthday! Hello. Who was that? Oh, it's just like it's like a. Uh, it's, it, it's anybody? Who, no, who was it? I, uh, it was we sick. require to know who you put past. She wants to know who was it. Tell her who it was. Uh, Go ahead and tell me. It was Oprah. Oh, shit! <laughs> 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 And we're back. So, tell us more about the exciting hang adventure on, just, that you hang, had. Just, hang on, you got just a. There we go. All right. Okay. There we go. Thank you. All right. No, tell no, no. All right. So, uh, tell us more right. about about, okay. about how your wife <laughs> saved all those people. Oh yeah, it was crash. it was really. Oh, yes. I mean, okay. Stop really stop heroic touching stuff. My stop. stop touching my face. I've never been so inspired. Stop touching my face. Okay. This is NBC News. Stop touching my face. <laughs> so, your wife saved a lot of people from a plane crash. Yes. Oh, and we'll be back after this. Oh, hi, man! What the fuck's your fucking problem? You yeah. gotta touch me goddamn face! What kind of English piece of shit are you? I meant to tell you that you're not supposed to touch Brian Williams. Me! <laughs> you are! <not. laughs> He's. I fucking came here, changed my goddamn name from Mac Wilhoy. To Matt Williams? Hey, <laughs> not like Stone We're on three. I'm gonna fucking kill you. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so, when your wife saved all those people, yeah. what were you thinking? Holy shit. <laughs> can, I, can I swear here? Is that? That's really not okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, I don't know how to tell you this. But when you walked by me just now, you like brushed against my junk. You like touched it. And I want you to know that I've never been more turned on in my life. I guess I'm gay now. I think you are. I and I think I am too. I and I want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're leaving me? Well, Plus? I don't want to. Oscar, I don't want to. I love you and the baby, but uh -huh. I brushed a, against a woman's sticking out vagina. <laughs> <laughs> she was... Wait, can you just show me how yeah, you're sticking? I have a tilted <laughs> pelvic bone. Some women have tilted pelvic You shouldn't. You I guess call. my hand was kind of. Well, that makes. And your hand just went whoop, tip, 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 whoop. <laughs> I've, I've told you how you do that when we were in Target. I thought I didn't know what you meant. Oscar, I didn't well, know what you meant till now. I mean, we're I'm sad so to see sorry. you go, but I guess it makes sense. You have to do what's best for you, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Skip. Well, I don't oh. want to rub against anything. Okay. Make <laughs> Wait. I mean, if we rub on each other again without somehow making another child, will, will I be straight again? I wouldn't want to. Do you want me to hold the baby? Yeah, can you hold the baby while I rub on your father? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, she just left you because she touched her husband again? Yeah. She like touched her husband's junk, like flap, flap, poop, 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 poop. <laughs> and then she like, <laughs> she <laughs> A little softer. <laughs> I want to make sure. Do you feel, do you feel straight now? Because I feel sick. <laughs> well, I, oh. Just let me do one more oh. flap, flap, boop, boop, boop. Just one more to make sure. I want to make. So you told her to leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't quite understand this, Jim. Uh, <laughs> this for one thing, you're here pretty early for a father. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to alarm you. Yeah. But when you handed me my beer just now. Yeah. Your knuckles like grazed my chest. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, I think you might be hetero now. I'm just saying. You need me to touch your junk? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I would love you to because I really find this whole hetero thing like. Uh, but the I mean, only I would do that no, 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 because the the, <laughs> the only person who taught you how to touch a person's junk was your ex-wife, <laughs> and I was in pain for a long time. 
Roger, uh, this is an Applebee's. Yeah. We have gotten some complaints that you're letting people slap you in the penis <laughs> behind the bar. One this guy. Is a, this is a neighborhood One bar in guy. Well, Obviously, we don't. <laughs> and I was with my son. And I just Can I offer you some free sizzling enchiladas? <laughs> 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 Blondie and a mud I don't want to talk to women anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for a book called, well, it's like the book The Secret, mm -hmm. but it's called A Crippling Secret. Okay. <laughs> what happens is you think about what you want, right. you actualize it, mm -hmm. and then it hurts part of your body and you're crippled. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have that book? Have you heard of it? I think Come back. Day after tomorrow. It doesn't exist, but I'll write it. <laughs> We're a full service bookstore. Wow. I know. You and they that? say the independent bookstore is dead. <laughs> All right, come on back. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. You're welcome. Uh, and they say the typewriter is dead. <laughs> Typewriter is dead. Well, oh, it's the day after yesterday. <laughs> ah, welcome back. Bye. There you go. A crippling secret. Wow! Yeah. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what was your secret? Oh, I, I just, I've still been wishing for a pony. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I uh, secretly, I eat too much at night. <laughs> now I have polio. <laughs> I just, I just want to give you a few pointers. Okay. Okay. Now, when you go in there, you never want to sit on the same couch as her. Okay. She's gonna try and sit on the couch with you. You just get up. Then and I want you to politely now, politely now, get up and remove your buttocks from the same plane of existence okay. as her buttocks. Can I? Okay. Do you want to ask a question? I want to ask. I'm open no, for questions. I'm, I'm, I'm just taking in the feedback. I'm not going to. All right. I was just wondering. Okay, she's going to want to sit on that couch with you. And you're going to think, oh, oh, hot damn. I'm sitting on a couch mm -hmm. with my idol. Okay. It's, it's just that there's only one couch. I know. Right. I know. And that is a problem you're going to have to troubleshoot. <laughs> Why don't you just have <laughs> And welcome to Queen Talk. <laughs> I am Elizabeth II. Do sit down. I don't. We order you to sit down. No, do not kneel. Sit, no, sit on the couch. <laughs> sit on the sofa. You sit on the sofa. Oh, on the Davenport. Sit. Place no, your buttocks not, next to me. I'm not really into it. Place your. No, I'm one must sit next to me. No, we are not talking to pretzels. You I'm, will sit I'm next not, to me. I'm, 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 we feel like we can take no, it in better fine, what you're saying. Fine. fine. It feels better this, this way. This feels nice. Sam, so, please sit next to me. I need to work on my legs anyway. Please. I haven't been working I'm, I'm ever so lonely, so please uh, sit next to me. We can't. Please. Yeah, we can't. Please. She didn't please say anything up. She didn't say she'd be so sad. I mean, I feel like she really needs someone. The I think queen can be sad. That's just. Britain is weeping. But if we don't allow. I just think that's Britain is weeping. Emotion. No, but if we, if the, if we don't Tony, allow the queen to be do. sad, we don't Tony, know what she'll turn into. Tony, let her sit down next to me. Tony. I just, she's feeling sad. Mother, have you been inviting people over to sit on the couch with you again? Yes. Why? So I can eat them. <laughs> Charles. What's wrong with the people we've been feeding you? <laughs> Charles, you know I'm secretly Elizabeth I. Of course I know that. And only the blood of talk show guests will keep me alive. <laughs> Mother, maybe it's time you weren't alive. Never say that! I am Britain! Now, bring me people who secretly have the same baby daddy. <laughs> Very well. Yes, you your rang, sir. Well, I don't know why we're here. <laughs> Make them sit down. <clears throat> Invite our guests in. Oh, I thought this was Alan. Come in! I thought this was Alan. I don't want to be here. <laughs> we are Britain.
Britain. Come sit down next no. to me. Oh my. The results of your DNA test is in. The what? Oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, if you And here that. is your real baby's daddy. I can't <laughs> what? Oh, usually this is where it gets very messy. Is he gonna pop out of it? Are you not hungry? Let him. What's wrong? I'm not really sure. No! 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 Um. How many parents are in here? How many people with kids? Raise your hand. Well, uh, I have two beautiful children, uh, twins, a boy and a girl. And um, you know, when my uh, when they were born, my son was like four and a half pounds, and my daughter was five. And um, I'm the youngest of eight children in my family. I have 17 nieces and nephews. I diapered all of them, right? And also, of course, being gay, I never thought that I could have a family, but I um, I, I just knew in my heart that I was going to have kids. You know, spoiling all my nieces and nephews and sending them back. And so, anyway, when the opportunity came uh, that I could adopt uh, children, uh, we adopted uh, 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 a distant cousin's kids. And uh, let me tell you, it was probably the most amazing feeling, right, in the world. Um, when I got the phone call that there were twins, I flew halfway around the world to pick them up. <laughs> and uh, and as I walked into the hut, yes, it was a hut. Uh, they're, they're from they're from Samoa. When I walked into the hut and I held these two kids in my arms for the first time, I tell you, it was probably the most amazing feeling in the world, right? It was. Because um, I called my brothers and sisters up and I said, you know what? Now I know how you feel. <laughs> and they're like, what are you talking about? I know how you feel when you brought your firstborn home. Because I'm having that feeling right now. <laughs> so at that time, where I could hold both of them in my arms, <laughs> uh, not so much now, right? <laughs> Uh, they're 12 years old now, and uh, my son is six foot, 260 pounds, and he wears a size 14 shoe. And, <laughs> and my daughter's tall too, and uh, gorgeous, beautiful. And let me tell you that it was it was so funny because as a football player, and you know, I didn't want to pressure my son into playing football, although. I prayed that he would. <laughs> but when he was younger, like uh, six or seven, we, we had him in flag football, and he wasn't having fun, right? And you know, he was out there, and he didn't, you know, he, he wasn't running around, he didn't want to do anything, and I asked him once, are you having fun, son? He's like, no, and what, he didn't want to hurt his friends. That was a big thing, you know, because he was the big kid, and he didn't want to hurt his friends. And so I said, well, then you don't have to play. Well, lo and behold, last year, he asked me, Dad. <laughs> oh, his voice is working. Dad. Because his voice is Dad, uh, you think I can play football? I inside, I was, you know, I was calm from the outside, but inside, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Yes! <laughs> um, and I was so excited, right? Absolutely excited that he'd ask me to play football. But then again, you start thinking, uh, is he one of these big kids with two left feet? Because just like, you know, I played against some ginormous giants, right? Bigger, stronger, faster than I am. But once they get on the football field, they're like two, they have two left feet. They can't play at all. Um, so it was one of those things where when he first, uh, we went to the, I guess there's tryouts now, right? There's, uh, they call it the mini combines. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know this. So we go, uh, we, they, they play for Men he plays for Minnetonka, in the Minnetonka area. So we go down to the tryouts. And as soon as we walk on the field, the coaches that you know are hurdled, they're like, oh, the high school, they're audition oh, auditioning, they're, the trials are on another field. And my son goes, um, I'm in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> and the look on their faces, they're like, what? You know? And literally, he's the fastest kid on the team, I mean, because he runs like a man. Uh, he's strong. And, uh, and, he, you know, and, and I was able to coach him, which was absolutely amazing. And we watched that movie, uh, the, the Blind Side. Right, the blind yeah. side. So um, every time he would ask me, so dad, what do I do? You know, and I, you know, I showed him some techniques and everything that I, do, you know, that I did. And I said, but it's like the blind side, son. You, know? you just get out there and you just do your best. You know, you, you know. So literally, the first game that we were in, he took this kid, 
like 15 yards down, and he tossed them, and he, he, he hurt the kid's arm. And I, you know, it was, but that was the first time I was, you know, my eyes just opened. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I had to, but then all these parents were yelling at us and yelling at him, this 12 year old, like, you know, play fair. You gotta play fair. You should bench him. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You know? Um, <laughs> but, you know, he's, he, my son has a sweetheart. I mean, he's just such a great kid. He's so kind, and, 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 and my daughter's the same way. She's beautiful, she plays basketball. We just, she, she just, uh, she's got a sweet shot. They, you know, they, we just had a tournament uh, yesterday. Well, anyway, long story short, I love my children, and I love everything about them. And, uh, you know, there are times in, where, um, you know, the big question about being gay and has come up, like, you know, what do they think? Well, um, we've raised our kids to, um, to know that there's different types of families in this world. Right? There's a single parent mother, like their Auntie Tusi. There's a single parent dad. There's two daddies, two mommies, and of course, the traditional mommy and dad. Um, and when you do it that way, I tell you, it's absolutely amazing because then, you know, it's, uh, and, and let me tell you this, this is one of the biggest reasons why we came out in 2002, is because of our children. We were finding it difficult to raise our kids in the closet because I was the daddy, because they looked like me, and my partner at the time, my baby's daddy, was the uncle. <laughs> you know, or the babysitter or whatever. Um, so coming out, we were able to have what our straight friends have. We could walk down the street and everybody knew that we were family. And we, were, and, we and our kids were proud of, uh, they knew that their dads were proud of who they were. So um, being a parent, you know, it's like everything, you know, like uh, raising our kids in the, gay, uh, in the gay family is like the straight, you know, when they, they fall down, you kick them, right? <laughs> <laughs> you slap them when they're being bad. No, I'm kidding. You, know, you pick them up and you hug them and you make sure that they're safe and they make sure that they're always they be there for them. And I think that's what kids need. And um, so anyway, um, so I guess this uh, you know this part of it was just about having kids, family, and how amazing it is. This is uh, Johnson. Congratulations on the birth of your child. Um, Thank you. We are n not ready for you to see him. Why not? Let me hold my baby. I want to see my baby. Holding your baby, yes. That is going to be difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dr. Clark, what are you? Uh, but is there something? You I'm should gonna, really be sitting. Yeah, you did, just, you, you did just give birth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Clark, what, what's, the, what's the matter? It's, it seems that your child was, oddly enough, folded inside of you. Sep, where's your baby now? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, are I, you bringing in the baby? Uh, no, uh, this, th th yeah, this is your baby. We, we, uh, again, you delivered. I unfolded him several times. And he got up and walked into the bassinet. Uh, he bit the umbilical cord through. Um, <laughs> Okay, honey, I'm yeah. back. Right, I'm sorry I had to move the car. Mr. Hi, Dr. Johnson. Clark. Ah, Excuse me, sir, who are you? No, it's her baby. That's her baby, that's your baby boy. Congratulations. Nah. What? Nah. You, had, you had fainted. Uh, you had Why is he wearing a three-piece suit? <laughs> he came out that way. Nah. He looks like he's 50. Mom. Nah. I assure you, he's, he's not. Daddy. Come hold him. We started showing him movies with gorillas because we weren't sure. Andy, come hold him. I want you to have this experience that I'm having. Dad you dad should dad. skin on skin is very important. Oh God, no. Okay. Let him feel your chest. Andy, come hold oh, your baby. He's got your eyes, and I really hope he doesn't have my prostate. Okay. Hi. Dad. Hi. Dad. Oh. Dad. Like, oh. Dad. Yeah, son, hi. Mom, yeah, dad. Yeah, it's like, this is very good. Uh -huh. Mom, dad. You're, you're speaking yeah, very well for someone an hour old. Usually, Mom. they don't usually wrap them in a blanket and put like one of those little hats on them. Why well, a three piece we, suit? We used several draperies and that didn't cover him. Uh, uh, so. Please tell me this is not from the morgue. Uh, you did not put my 50 year old looking son in a suit from the morgue. <laughs> I mean, what would be oh. the answer you'd like to hear? <laughs> we wanted to talk to you about being in the playgroup. <laughs> what? Mr. What? Mr. Johnson. <laughs> no. What? What they're, are you saying? They're 
just that. <laughs> I've Peanut, take, come on. Don't. I've taken a wearing a, a, a boxing headgear. Mm-hmm. Oh, Some of the other kids. Oh, oh speaking of Peanut, <laughs> there, there are no tree nuts in here, right? No tree nuts. Uh, I know he looks like, like uh, a giant uh, old man, but. Uh, 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 sir, get out of this Chuck E. Cheese. What's wrong with you? Get out of the no, balls. Get out of the balls. Excuse me, ma'am. I am calling the this police. This is my uh, son. Saving it for you. I just knew that someday. Thanks, Dad. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, Dad, I want you to know that I uh, rerouted a, a truck of electronics this oh. afternoon. Of course you did. I did. Sure. Of course you did. Sure. Next thing you're gonna be, you're gonna be eating meat straight out of the fridge. Are those Instead sausages done or what? Ham. They're done. They're on a paper towel. Wait for the grease to come off. I'm sorry, I just, I don't have it right now. You said you uh, would bring me a tangelo. Oh, I got, I, I got fruit by the foot. I got if fruit by the foot. you promise a tangelo, I get a tangelo. Come on, I got, I got fruit by the foot and a banana. Hey, I don't want any hey. of that fake fruit. <laughs> what do you think I am, some kind of pussy? Hey, I brought you your, the pears you asked for. Now that's a good boy, that's a good boy. Oh. Give me those. What if I give you a, a larger percentage of the racket I'm running with the kindergartners? You know what that sounds like to me? What? Sounds like a lot of hoopity do. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher he swore! You know what I'm hearing from your teachers? Yeah, Dad? Nothing. <laughs> That's right, Dad. Nobody, uh, nobody said nothing. Nobody said nothing, nobody, nobody saw nothing. I know, your, your, your child is very well behaved. Your child is, is really super behaved. If I had more A's to give your child, I would. I don't see, uh, <laughs> I don't see a lot of his art around the, uh, around the walls. Um, um, we, we, we could put more, yeah, we, we, we could, we could put more art in. We don't have an art unit right we're, now. We're very proud of our boy. As are we, as are we. You're, you you you're... All right, listen, kid. Yeah. I heard your name on those tapes. Maybe you I... think, you think that your code worked? No, <laughs> we know you've been pushing fruit. Well, we could put you away for a long time unless you enter the elementary school protection program. Oh. <laughs> Look, yep. maybe you heard my name, maybe you didn't. Dad, remember when I told you I didn't want to be a fed? Yeah. I've been thinking a lot. Go ahead, so I'm watching you. I don't think I want to give it a try. What? I want to give it a try. I want to be a fed. I got a nice, I got a nice suit. Yeah, you do. And I got my own Kevlar underneath here. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, I made it myself. Okay. Out of old phone books. All right. Now, why can't you get a nice private sector job? <laughs> oh. Come on. All right. Who's daddy's little G-man? So I hear you got some fruit for me, huh? Maybe. I'll take your fruit. What was that? I'll take your fruit. Why are you gonna take my fruit? I don't even know you. I'll take your fruit. Who are you supposed to be? Give me a fruit. Who are you supposed to be? Give me a fruit. Come on, come on, exchange the fruit. Exchange the fruit. Come on. Come I don't on. know you from anybody. Come on. You think you know me. I don't I don't but know you. You don't know me. That's what I said. I don't know you. You think you know me? No, I said I think I don't. Oh, you think you I said know I don't know me? Get them to exchange the fruit in, in exchange for money or favors. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Come on, Skipper. You can do it. Are you threatening me? If I don't give you fruit, are you threatening me? Uh, what, what, what either I do or do not do, and how you feel or do not feel, is uh, not necessarily up to me. 
Do you ever answer questions at ever? What are the questions? Um, hi, flower delivery, flower delivery, oh. flower delivery for this person over here. Oh my goodness, what's that? Listen, son, what? you have got to get her to exchange the fruits, all right? Otherwise, you can't put her away, all right? Oh, Fine. oh, flowers for the wrong person. Okay, flower delivery. It was a bad flower delivery. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Look, kid, you got two more seconds. I let you walk through this hallway for free. Now it's fruit paying time. Give me those nanas. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, a plantain? What do you think I am? Rihanna? <laughs> I tried to sneak a plantain by there because I didn't know if you knew your stuff. Clearly you do. You gotta play fair, kid. When you play with me, you gotta play fair. Thanks for these. Akuna Matata. <laughs> That's the last time you'll be quoting The Lion King for a long time. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh. All righty. Um, so, uh, let's, let's pull from the audience. <laughs> Why don't you guys just, uh, I guess, shout out a word, any word. <laughs> I'll try to use them in a story or... Resolution. Resolution. Oh. Anybody else? <laughs> Chicken. Chicken? <laughs> what is it? Chicken. 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 Oh, I love chicken. <laughs> I mean, do I look like I don't like chicken? <laughs> Anybody else? Training camp. Training camp. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> we eat a lot of chicken in training camp. <laughs> One way we can like kind of keep our weight down, you know, uh, especially with offensive and defensive linemen. Um, all right, um, training camp. Let's go with training camp. Um, my first training camp, right? Green Bay, Wisconsin. And uh, let me tell you this: I was, I was, uh, I was kind of excited, but I was also nervous, right? Because you, here you go from college, where you're like the head honcho, right? You're the man. Uh, you know, kicked a lot of ass. You know. And then you go, you come to the pros where it's kind of like everybody's bigger, faster, and stronger, right? <laughs> and uh, I remember my first training camp walking in. Um, and I came in late because, of course, I held out for more money. But um, <laughs> I, I, it was my agent, and anyway. So I came in during lunch period, and everybody was having lunch. And let me tell you this. for. Uh, for rookies, there's a little bit of hazing going on. You know, I can't tell you a lot of, you know, that's going on <laughs> because there's a code. Um, but <laughs> I guess uh, for one of the things, one of the hazing things that you have to sing for your meal. <laughs> and no one knew that I, you know, I could sing. And, <laughs> so it was, and I played it off, right? I played it off. So we have like Surly Sharps in the house. We have Brian Noble, like all these amazing players, you know? and. You know, um, Makowski's in there, and you know, uh, so um, they're, they're telling, uh, Sterling Sharp gets up, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't know that you had to eat, you know, sing for your food. So he's like, and I'm, I'm holding my plate, and he's like, you're not eating one thing on that, on that tray unless you sing a song. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, I'm not singing. I'm playing it off, like, no, no, you have to, you have to sing a song. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, fuck that, dude. I'm not singing that. <laughs> I can't sing. Like, you know, sing a fight song, sing a nursery rhyme, whatever. You know, everybody's like yelling out, shit. you're not eating. You know, they take my plate away from me, you know, my, my tray. And so, uh, so somebody goes, you know what? Have them sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. You know, thinking that it would be funny, right? And I'm like, oh, whatever. You know, and I'm not singing. So I was playing a little bit. But I'm not singing. So, um, so I get up on the table, you, you know, this display, you got to take off your shirt. You know, at that time, my body was okay, you know. No. <laughs> so you take off your shirt and you have to sing. And so I got up there and I go, um, okay, here we go. I mean, it's not going to sound good. You're like, who gives a fuck? Just sing a song. You know, and I'm like, all right, all right. So I go, Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> little lamb. Little lamb. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. As sweet was white as snow. And everyone was like, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, fuck you, you know. It's like, oh, everyone. 
everybody, everybody was so excited, you know, and the problem with that is that I had to sing every single meal, <laughs> you know, and then walking by, you know, walking by somebody's room, they're like, dude, you come sing for my girlfriend, man, sing for my girlfriend. <laughs> you know, I did so many Luther Vandross songs, I did so many, you know, old school, like Motown songs, you know, for people, love songs, and um, so that was my, you know, that was part of uh, my first uh, training camp. But I, this is, everybody, anyone knows who Tony Mandrix was? Yes. Tony Mandrix, right? Uh, he, he came in a year before me, and this dude was a beast, right? Mm -hmm. He went to, went to Michigan State, I believe, and this is a big steroid dude, right? <laughs> big steroid dude, and, and uh, I remember the first practice I'm going on, and I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, because it's, like, it's one of the things, right? Man, you're going against a bunch of great guys, you know? So I go one-on-one -on -one with Tony Manlix. That's the first experience that I had. And let me tell you, this guy is like probably 6'8", 400 pounds, like just muscles. I mean, like just, I mean, just stacked, you know, and uh, offensive lineman. And, I, and they, call, they call me up, and then I'm going against him. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> so I go against this dude, and remember when I talked about like somebody with two left feet, <laughs> right? That was Tony. He had two left feet, and let me, I bull rushed him, and I put him right on his back. And it was one of those, this, after I did that, it was like, holy shit. Like, you know, I think, I think by me bull rushing him and putting the, this guy who was the first round draft pick last year on his back, I got the starting job. <laughs> right? So I was, uh, they put me at uh, the, uh, the number one nose tackle. And, you know, any just little fun facts, like, you know, I was the, the first uh, NFL rookie to start all 16 games. Hey. At that time, I was uh, the highest uh, defensive lineman the Packers ever took. You know? <laughs> and I went in, uh, you, know, I, you know, going to a crappy, not, I, I, can't, I, I love my school. I'm just saying our football program was crappy. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, I was 35th pick out of you know, 336. So I went in the second round, which was oh, great, right? It's a great, you know, great thing. And so um, it, was, it was just uh, it's a great experience. So training camp, that was my first experience with training camp. After that, you know, um, it was just awesome every single week playing against different teams and seeing, like, all these famous players. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, my idol was uh, Mike Singletary, right? So here... Uh, the second game, we're, we're playing the Chicago Bears on Thursday night, and um, guess who's singing the national anthem? <laughs> me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So they asked me to sing the national anthem with my pads on, <laughs> and, like, and I, you know, and I'm getting, I'm, 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 I'm walking out there to sing this this national anthem. It's like in the last minute, I go, who's gonna see this? You know, well, just the people in the stadium, and I guess the last minute they. They televised it. Every, you know, <laughs> I'm glad they didn't tell me that because I would have been so nervous. And uh, but I wasn't nervous singing the national anthem. I was nervous because my idol, Mike Singletary, was right across, <laughs> right across the field. And like, let me tell you, like in high school, I used to play like this dude, wide eyed, and I used to just, just destroy guys on the field, just like Mike Singletary. Like I would just, oh, he was a, he was a linebacker. If you don't know who Mike Singletary was, he was like probably the, the best linebacker ever to play the game. And uh, I used to play like this dude. So singing the national anthem and seeing him, that was probably the most you know, nerve-wracking thing. And then being able to start in the game and, and play was also awesome. <laughs> <laughs>